Hey everybody, it's The Shape, back to another video. Now, real quick, uh, just wanna thank you guys. Uh, I was worried about the last video because it wasn't highly edited and all fancy and everything. And what I mean by that is, uh, it was more of a reaction type video. And I was worried that if I don't put a lot of work into it, a lot of people wouldn't show up to watch the video. And I was proved wrong because you guys come in clutch and I should have known better. So I really appreciate it. That helps me put out more videos because now I'm doing it on the Octagon channel, which I'll link below. And I can do more on this channel in between the more, the harder to make videos, the ones that take longer. And that, that allows me to put more videos out for you guys. And I really appreciate the support. And I scoured the comment sections of the last video, found some interesting comments all about, yes, I know I said in the last video, no more talking about the Conjuring House, but I have to this time. Uh, but hey, don't go to the Conjuring House. Yes, see, I'm not promoting it. Let's roll the intro. Oh, buddy, the comment section last video was really good. Really good. Uh, one comment stood out over all of them, really, because brought up a very interesting point. A point that I knew of, but I didn't think of during the video, because really the video wasn't focused on that point, but I guess it should have been. Now, I want to be clear when I say, oh, I was a, I'm a fan of the original Ghost Hunters, the show. I'm not saying they never staged anything. I'm not saying that, which, when they did the history on a lot of these places, they 100% they screwed up a lot of times on the history of the locations because they made a lot of, basically, misinformation and lies really like the bob mackies watch that video and then research research what they said the history of the place was you'll see what i'm talking about but yeah but i am a fan of the original ghost hunter show even the original ghost adventures the first few seasons because of just the craziness you know i should do a series on and go back and look at all these and see if I can debunk anything. I may very well do that. But anyway, the comment section. Now, Jason Halls, he talked about the owner of the Conjuring House saying, I'll show you in the video, but he said that, no, it wasn't a demon, and it wasn't no 200-year-old ghost uh, getting into this woman's head telling her to do stuff. And the reason... The comment stood out to me is what about Cody and Satori and their magical powers? You know, but no. But what, let's just. Here's what Jason Halls had to say. And you know what? Another thing I need to. Uh, <clears throat> I need to say. I get. I got to get this off my chest because I've seen some people post about it. Some people talking about it. There is nothing to do with demonic possession in this situation. Bottom line is saying, oh, well, she's possessed. It's, it's the house that's doing this to her. It has nothing to do with that. So we need to stop get, making that a scapegoat for somebody's actions. Now, before I say anything, I also want to make it very clear that Jacqueline, the owner of the Conjuring House, 100%, I don't think a demon was talking to her, nor do I think uh, the ghost of the house was guiding her thoughts or possession, any of that stuff. But equally, equally, if not more so, Cody and Satori's method, you know, the human light rod, that when they join hands, every single spirit that they, they wanna talk to, they can just say the name summoned them all around them and 
these ghosts will answer any of their questions. And the reason I say that, I don't believe it, is because Jason Hawes is questioning Jacqueline from the Conjuring House. Yet, Cody and Satori, he, he, he stood right by. Even though one or the other is so outlandish and also, Cody and Satori have been debunked. Now, I'm not saying all the debunks 100% proof they staged this method, but a lot of it was really well done and proved a lot of points. I don't think Jason Hall's ever looked at those videos like, huh, you know, these debunkers, huh, I made some good points here on why this would be staged. A lot of proof here. There's no proof on the Contra House lady, though. You know, no debunker debunked her being possessed. You see what I'm saying? But these people have been. Moving on. I've been doing this for 30-something years. We handle cases directly for numerous religious organizations. 99.9% .9 of the cases that we get sent to to write up preliminary reports on possession or demonic hauntings have nothing, not one thing, to do with the paranormal or a demon. So stop with the bullshit about demons. That's not real. You're not helping people. You're hurting people. You're not helping the field. You're hurting the field. You're making a mockery of this field. Making a mockery of this field. You know, I, I agree. I agree. What else, though, makes a mockery of this field? Fake methods, that comes to mind. You know the method I call the ass method. It's a... Uh, abbreviated that's not me cussing you know but Cody and Satori claim they can summon any spirit just by joining hands and the spirit is the only people on earth that supposedly have this gift but you never called them out for anything I know it's your daughter but we'll get to that and to see what some people have turned it into is just, it's heartbreaking. It truly is. And if that's the shit people want, well then it's not worth it for me because I'm never going down that path. You know, it makes me proud to be a debunker because we can go into these situations completely unbiased. Now I know it seems like I'm being hard on Jason Halls after the last video. I'm like, hey, I'm a big fan. And him as a person, I have no problem with. I think he seems like a good enough guy. I don't know him personally. Uh, but he's biased, which I understand, like I said, I understand it's his daughter, but it stands out so much because him being as level-headed as he claims that he is, look, if that was my, my kid, I would be biased as well. But let me abbreviate that. I would be biased, and I'd always want to protect my kids. But I would look at them off camera and say, if you don't knock that method off, I will disown you. Like, for real. I don't know about disown them, but I'd say knock that, knock it off. But then, let's look at his older video when he defends Cody and Satori. Hey everybody, I wanted to address some controversy that's been kicking up online recently. So, my daughter, Satori, my youngest daughter, and Cody did some videos with Sam and Colby, which seemed like great guys. And they filmed some videos that aired over a few weeks. Uh, they, they were doing their technique, which uh, they've been doing for years, where they hold hands, they get knocking, and they count through the letters of the alphabet and uh, go from there. The videos came out, they were very well received, but of course, where there's positive, there's always some negative that, can, that shows up, um, which is fine. I mean, I've always, I've always said, look, look deeper, look for the real explanation. Try to figure out what's truly going on. Keep that same energy. You see what I mean? Now, like I said, I understand that it's his family. I understand that, and you want to protect your family, but. Jason knows 
100% that this method is crap. It's staged. It's a, you can call it a scam, whatever. It's staged. It's been proven pretty much. All the debunks put together tells the whole story. But he'll defend them tooth and nail. Yet Jacqueline, there's no way. 99.99% that's never a possession, blah, blah, blah. Not a demon, not a ghost in her ear, and I'm not saying that it is. But well, my daughter now, yeah, she's a ghost lightning rod, her and Cody. I think some people, instead of doing that, have gone straight to the negative aspect, the full-blown attacks. You know, you're, you're liars, you're frauds, you're, you're scam artists. Well, if you fake a method, which they did, that makes you all of those things that you just said. Now, I'm not saying attack anybody. Never. Never attack anybody. But if they say, hey, you're a scammer, or hey, you're lying, that's true as long as you're telling the truth and calling them what they are that's not hate that you saying that's fake and as for the conjuring woman i heard a few people in the comments say well could be a publicity stunt could you imagine you know like the lutzes and the whole amityville deal that rhymed yeah they could be doing the same thing like a, what a book what a movie it would make. A ghost possesses the owner of the house. Wow. But. You know, I can't really. I don't know. But, I mean, that's always an option. You're popping joints just like the Fox sisters used to. But the fact of the matter is. You have to be there to experience the activity. You have to be there to experience these knocks. No. No, I don't have to be there to experience those knocks. I know it's staged. They are popping their joints. Feet joints. Don't have to be there. And just because you, Jason, you were fooled by them doesn't mean other people are. No, I don't have to be there. I could take all the information like all the debunkers did and make an educated guess from that. Don't have to be there, ever. But when you're there in the moment and they're doing this, these knocks are coming from all around. I mean, sometimes you can hear what sounds like somebody walking from one room to another towards you in a series of knocks. That's not popping joints. Yes, that's been debunked as well. Don't have to be there like I told you. There's even people on TikTok, fooled people, with the same technique showing that it was staged. It sounded like people walking around the room when it was just him popping his toe. That's it. So all I'm saying is bottom line, look deeper, dig deeper, look for the real explanation. You put yourself out there in the public's eye, trying to further something, trying to further a field. Now, I'm not dumb. I understand what Jason Halls here is trying to say, but scams and fake methods they don't expand the paranormal field they make a big gigantic backtrack and i don't want to hear in the comments about that 360 camera where they done it barefooted that was a joke that was a joke it was not in a controlled experiment the people that ran this experiment aren't trustworthy i don't know them uh if you got somebody like Mythos, Mr. Gray, Side-Eyed Guy, me, something like that, and let them overlook the experiment, I would 100% take their word for it. If the only thing you want to say is you're a fraud, you're a liar, you're a scam artist, it's, it's ridiculous. You don't even allow the opportunity to talk. Yes, she's my kid. And am I saying this because she's my kid? It definitely enticed me to make this video. Exactly. And what's good for the geese is good for the gander. I by no means am going like, oh, I'm against Jason Halls and I'm for the owner of the Conjuring House. 
It's not what I'm saying here, but I'm saying what I am saying is he should look at if you're going to have an opinion saying there's no way this is happening to this person, but this is definitely happening because that's my daughter and I know that's real, but no, this no, this woman's full of it. Doesn't matter who she is. You should look at everything objectively. Now, let me ask you this. Which one is more unlikely? The owner of one of the most haunted houses on the planet possibly being possessed or being mind manipulated by a demon or a, a spirit that dwells there? Or two people that when they touch, they can summon any spirit on the planet. Oh, and by the way, they're the only ones as far as I know, that are able to do it. And one of them is the daughter of one of the biggest ghost hunters on the planet. You kind of weigh the options. I can tell you what it is. Neither one of them. They're both fake. Neither one of them. It's garbage. That's all it is. But yeah, I wanted to make this video because when I got that comment of somebody saying, you know, Jason takes up for one person then goes against another and both are equally unbelievable. Yeah, I can definitely understand that, and that's what motivated this quick video. But comment down below, guys, what do you think? That's the end of the video. All I'm doing here now is, I just wanna really, truly thank you guys. This is gonna be long-winded, so you may need to grab a snack. A lot of people lately have noticed I've been a bit more depressed, not as much on social media. So I'm going to kind of give you the rough notes of why I feel the way I do. But I feel better now. Back when we had two supporters that passed away. And I dedicated videos to both of them. It hit me like... Hard. Just, just like a family member. Two people that you've always seen in the comments. And always just supporting you. And you've engaged with them for years. And they're gone. Just like that. Yeah, I shouldn't feel that deeply. I don't know. But when I say you guys are like family, I'm no fake. That's not fake. I mean, I love you guys. But that snowballed into me second guessing myself, worried, oh man, you just, you've been doing this debunking so long, you're, uh, you're drying up, man. You begin to second guess, like, man, am I really. I ain't any good, you know? And remember when I told you I quit looking at the statistics and I just so happened to accidentally stumble upon them? Yeah, it, seeing all those gray arrows, it, it disheartens you for sure. And it just snowballed. And then I was like, well, maybe I should make reaction videos. I can make one of them in three hours instead of working on a video for five to seven days. But then I was like, no, I don't want to waste your guys' time. I want to give you the best content that I can make. After the last video, it was like a kind of like this one, a reaction type deal. And it performed well because of you guys. It was a big relief because I was like, okay, I can put out more content this way by putting out extra videos that don't take that long to make. And I can work on my harder videos and put them out after, right? And my other channel, The Octagon, which I'll link below, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff on there. Huh? Buckle up, I I'm being real. I've been doing this a long time. I don't wanna be on YouTube and just, I always wanna make the best videos I can make. I don't wanna waste your guys' time, and, but I don't wanna be like, getting on your nerves like I upload every five minutes either. You guys are just amazing. Bangers coming, when I tell you bangers, <laughs> bangers. And I do, I wish the best for Jason Hawes and his family. I wish the best for the Conjuring House lady and her family as well. I hope them the best. I don't want nothing bad to happen to anybody. I hope I hope they, they solve all these problems. And I love you guys. I appreciate you and you can damn well bet I'll see you in another video. Y'all come back now, you hear? Peace.